Learning to code will not save your dev career in 2026. The game has changed. So it's not AI, although AI is an accelerant. The nature of software development has always been, and I've been doing this since 1995, it has always been the introduction of new layers of abstraction. It could be a framework, it could be a high level language, it could be a library. And these new tools that enter into the software development game reduce the amount of code that you need to write to put out a product. So in my career, what, took, what it took to put out a web app in 1997, 98, 95, it took a huge amount of code relative to today to put out a far superior web app, to be totally honest with you. Again, AI is not the reason for this. This is, the, this is par for the course. This is the way things have gone for decades now. In the old days, when we used to write web apps, as an example, we used to have to code everything, and it was a lot of work. Now we have full-stack frameworks like Express or Spring Boot or PHP Laravel, Python Django. We have front-end libraries like React or Vue. They take care of so much of the boilerplate code that we used to have to write. That is going away. So in 2026, people are not being hired because they're really good at writing code, they're really good at algorithm, algorithms, or they have a detailed understanding of advanced data structures. That was never really super important, to be honest with you, unless you're in like some company like Google or Facebook where they needed big data processing. No, today, the advantage, the hack, the trick for junior devs to get that first job is to be aware of what's interesting today. What is important today for businesses? It's not React. Now, today, the developers who are getting the jobs, they understand the big picture processes, they understand AI, they understand low-code, no-code tools, and they're able to explain what it is they are shipping and why they are shipping. So you have to look at AI as not competition or replacement for developers. It is just a new tool for developers, a new power tool for developers. A few points you should understand. Being a coder is not being a developer. Coding is just a part of development. Now, and its role... Coding's role in the process of being, of developing applications rather, coding's role has always been diminishing over the years and decades. Again, this is nothing new. AI is just a big uh, foot on the gas pedal, the big accelerant in that regard. Low code, no code tools are another example of that. Libraries, another example of that. Even high-level languages like JavaScript and Python and PHP and Ruby and Java and C-sharp to a lesser extent, those are all examples of that. Trust me, when we used to build apps, web apps in 1995-96, Perl CGI or C CGI, it was a lot more code we wrote. So if you want to be a successful developer, you want to get that job today, you have to understand the big picture processes as, as I discussed understand the foundational languages. You still need to understand the code, but you're going to be spending less time writing the code. You're going to be spending much more time tinkering a little bit here and there, guiding the AI agents, configuring various low-code and no-code platforms, stitching them together, figuring out the best architecture for the particular job. One of my running jokes on this channel is uh, never use Ruby, don't use Ruby. It's, I'm not, it's nothing about Ruby, really. It's just a joke. The joke is that the language matters. It doesn't matter. Sometimes even Ruby, although very rarely, even Ruby is a fine choice. You have to choose the right technology for the time. So sometimes it could be a JavaScript. Sometimes it could be a C sharp. Sometimes you might want to use Gemini to generate something. Sometimes you might want to use ChatGPT. Sometimes you can use Claude. Sometimes you're going to use React, sometimes you're going to use Vue, sometimes you're going to do vanilla JS. Point being is that these tools are part of your, well, your toolbox, your utility belt as a developer. The developers who embrace the new technology, history teaches us, as I did back in the 90s, those who learn the new stuff, get all the jobs, make all the money. So in 2026, if you want to be a valuable developer, 
You just need your foundations of coding. You just need your foundations of the languages. But you want to spend most of your time learning what it is to be a developer, learning all those processes, understanding the tool sets that you have. You do that, you're going to be in a fantastic situation. And in fact, based on my three decades of experience, I personally believe this is the best time in decades to become a developer. Now, you're not going to try to become an old school developer. You don't want to do what was popular five years ago because then you're effed. But you want to do what's coming up now. What's going to be popular or well, what is growing very quickly now. We're already starting to see signs of that where AI-centric people, people who leverage AI, low-code, no-code tools, they're printing money. I'm Uncle Steph. I've been teaching people software development for many years, mentoring people. I mentored people into FANG jobs. I mentored people who built billion-dollar companies. I have a mentoring program. Links below. Check it out. Uncle Steph. Never been better time to get into it. You learn the foundations of coding, of course. You learn the big picture. You learn about the databases. But you also learn about AI. I have a brand new AI module in there. So much more. How to freelance, how to get jobs. All that is covered in there. Different levels, different options. You can join anytime. You can uh, cancel anytime. You're not locked in. I want to make it flexible for everybody. Thank you.